never knew what I really wanted But looking back I can see it's all clear I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me But nothing makes sense anymore down below and this week we are decking out the kitchen we're also going to be doing some baking today and these treats are super yummy so stay tuned until the very end and I also say hi good job <laughs> that's so cute he doesn't really do that very often that's so cute um, but I also want to do a giveaway we recently hit 40,000 subscribers and I'm so thankful for y'all and I also thought it would just be fun to see what kind of ideas y'all have for Oliver's Halloween outfit so comment down below what you think Oliver should be for Halloween and Will and I are gonna choose our favorite one and announce it on Friday the winner on Friday and you're gonna win $25 PayPal cash and it's brownie points if you think of something really cute and fluffy and something that can match Will and I because we want to do something like a little family outfit. A little, hi. <laughs> a little family costume. So the winner will get $25 PayPal cash or announcing the winner on Friday. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you're not already subscribed, we would love to have you. But let's get started. Before I bring out all of the decorations, I'm just giving these counters a really good wipe down with my Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Spray in the Apple Cider Scent. This stuff smells so good and it is the perfect cozy scent coming into fall. When I'll be coming home Then I'll be at your door When I'll be coming home I plan to let you know I carry high whenever we're apart. As I wipe everything down, I'm taking out all of the summery soaps and decorations so that I have a really clean slate to work with. And I'm sticking with the same rustic glam look here in the kitchen, but I wanted it a little bit more toned down in here because when I make huge messes while I'm baking or cooking, I just don't want to be overwhelmed with a ton of crazy decor too. So I'm choosing an almost monochromatic color scheme in here so that we just have a few pops of traditional fall colors and the rest of it looks really clean. When I'll be coming home Over here in the corner, I just switched out the white tray for this wood one to add lots more warmth, and this tray is from At Home. And I love the glow of this lamp, so I went ahead and left that there, and I'm just adding a rustic pumpkin from At Home, and then this pottery vase, I believe it's from Hobby Lobby, and then a really yummy candle that I found at Target last week. And I love that this gives off the perfect fall feel, but it's not super colorful or overwhelming. Now I'm taking my flour, sugar, and oatmeal jars to the other side of the kitchen. I wanted to kind of switch things up in here, and I've never done a stove side tray, but I've been looking at them a lot on Pinterest, and I got inspired. So I'm going to be creating one of those today, where these glass jars used to be. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead over to this coffee station and fill up this K-cup holder with some Starbucks coffee. And I'm also going to add this cute little espresso mug that I found at Target. I love the color of those K-cups for fall and I feel like they made this coffee station super cozy and fun for fall, but everything is still pretty clutter free over here so that when I do make a mess in here, it doesn't get crazy. I found this really pretty wreath from Hobby Lobby this year and I actually got two more because I wanted to add two to the hutch, one on each door. But then I ended up changing my mind and I didn't use them. And I'll explain that when we get over to the hutch. But now I'm just wiping down the microwave and the stove top with some Windex. And we're going to light a candle right here. I actually found this pumpkin streusel candle at Michael's just on a whim. And it smells so good. Now I'm just windexing down the bottom half of the oven and also the dishwasher and I'm going to hang a new hand towel here and I found this really pretty glam pumpkin hand towel at Home Goods this year and it came with two orange ones too so I'll have to find a spot to use the orange ones but I went ahead and hung the pumpkin one here. Now I'm going to try to create a little stove side caddy and I wanted some more warmth over here on this side of the oven so I added this little wood tray from a vintage market that comes to Little Rock every year and I'm just going to add some garland that I found at Michael's. I have lots of this throughout my house during the fall and then I just added that pumpkin and some salt and pepper, some wooden spoons and then just a little vase with some sticks in it. And I also think it would be so pretty to add like a fancy jar of olive oil right here, but I didn't have one on this day. So this is what we have going right here for now. Let me know down in the comments below if you think of anything else I could add to this um, to make it more useful as like a little stove side caddy. You know I love you and I have no doubt the time. Today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend Ashley. She is decorating her gorgeous home for fall and y'all do not want to miss it. She has amazing taste and in case you haven't subscribed to her yet, she is a girl mom living in Michigan and her channel is packed full of home decor inspiration and she is a must follow. I'm going to have her video linked below for y'all to check out but tons of cozy fall inspiration and I just love her and all of her videos. Make sure to head over and let her know that I sent you. And if y'all are coming over from Ashley's channel today, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. Take you above the I switched out our lemon soap for the Mrs. Meyers Oat Blossom. It smells so good. And I went ahead and replaced our paper towel holder because our old one broke. And this one really warms up the space for fall. I love it. And then I just added some stems here by the soap. Whatever it is will be fine. Give it to me, I don't mind. So we fell, but we can work it out. 
Okay, so if you're new here, I just recently painted that wall over there with the mirror agreeable gray. And this wall over here, I'm not sure what this gray is, but it's a little bit darker than that one. And so I'm waiting for my builder to bring by a bucket of that paint because I want to paint this up here above our cabinets that color so that this wall and that one over there don't blend in. Um, I don't. I want this one to kind of like contrast from that. So we're waiting for that paint. Eventually, hopefully in one of my fall videos, I'll get that done. Um, this is the only part of our kitchen we have left to paint. But I'm thinking once I get it painted, I will put some garland up there with lights. And it'll be a whole lot cozier in here. And then I also have a really fun idea for this wall over here. So we've had a clock on this wall forever, <laughs> but I'm hoping I can get some rods right there and hang some cutting boards and florals. And I found something on Pinterest that gave me inspiration for that, but I'm gonna be sharing that here really soon. I'm gonna order my rods on Amazon and get that going. So that'll be in a fall video soon too, but hopefully we'll get that paint going and then this going and we'll have this wall figured out. I also told y'all in my last fall decorate that I'm going to put a shelf right there by the front door with some hooks. And so we're gonna get that done soon too. So within the next two or three videos, we should have that figured out over there with that mirror that won't be there anymore. And then also this over here is gonna have some rods with cutting boards rather than a clock because I feel like that's just a little bit too plain. But come back in the next two or three weeks we should have that figured out but i am loving the cozy vibes in here it's so fun and now we're going to head over here to the nook and decorate the table i had filmed part of this video really late at night after ollie went to sleep it was like 2 a.m when you're watching me right here and then a part in the morning so i put back on the same outfit so it wasn't confusing but that's why the blinds are closed and it's dark in here now but in a second it's going to be bright and sunny so I also wanted to say that Oliver and I have been super sick all week and that's why I sound weird so hopefully we will recover from that this weekend and be able to get back on track with my day in the life videos on Thursday. Over here on the hutch, I wanted to warm it up with lots of copper and amber glass. So I'm just going to play around with some decor. This little piece that I just added to the top of the hutch is from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just adding some florals in a basket. A lot of times I cut out this process and get straight to what I actually decided on. But I decided to throw in the whole decision process right here for y'all because it does take me forever to decide what I want to do with the space. And then even after that, I'm still wanting to add stuff and change it around. So there may be changes coming in next week's video. But... I guess I will take this time while I'm going back and forth with Hutch Decor to introduce myself. So my name is Lauren. I'm a new mom to sweet baby Oliver. I was a fifth grade literacy teacher before I became a mom last year. And then I recently quit that to stay home with him. But I love making videos about home decor and cleaning and mom life. So if you enjoy those things too, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would love to have you. And also make sure to comment below and introduce yourself. I would be thrilled to talk to you. And I also have some of the sweetest subscribers who I'm sure will welcome you too. But thank you so much for stopping by today's video. I'm going to be uploading a new fall clean and decorate every Sunday in August. So stop back by and see me. I also normally upload a day in the life every other Thursday. But I got off track this week because I was sick. So hopefully we will be back on track this week. And I'm so excited you decided to stop by today. And I hope you enjoy. And I don't know where I would be or where I'll go if you weren't standing next to me. Your love will carry me for life, and I. I got a little carried away with all of the orange and then I didn't end up liking it so I took away 
the orange towel and all of the orange leaves and kept it pretty neutral over here. I wanted some dimension and texture and um, some warmth, but I didn't want a whole lot of color. Here's where I I'm going to link my video from last year down below and you can see how different I decorate because last year's fall clean and decorate was a lot different. We did more of like a cutesy fall traditional colors everywhere last year and this year I'm going for more of a rustic glam look with lots of coppers and amber glass so it has changed quite a bit. I also still have a lot of the same stuff too. Um, but I have a question for y'all. So I got these cute little acorn lights at Michael's and I love them. I feel like they add the perfect color of light and I wanted to add them here in the hutch to make it look really cute and cozy but then I put them in here and I felt like it was too cluttery. So y'all let me know in the comments below if I should keep the lights or if I should just leave them out. I have two more strands so I can put one strand on each shelf but let me know down below should I keep the lights or get rid of them. I don't know if you can tell, but I really wanted these flowers to work in here, and I never did get them to work. So I ended up adding just some little fluffy white balls. I don't know what they're called, but they're like in the floral department at Hobby Lobby. I thought they looked cute in here. So I switched out the colors for these little white balls. But let me know, do you like the yellow flowers better, or do you like these little white things? Okay, I stuck that wreath on the pantry door just to see what it looked like and I forgot to take it down. I'm not going to keep it there. But here in the center of the table, I wanted to add a pop of color since we kept the hutch pretty neutral. And so I added some leaves to a vase and I just put it all in this little rectangle basket. I love keeping our centerpiece for this table in a basket or on a tray so that way when we eat dinner we can just scoot it out of the way really easy. And I just put some little cream pillows in the chairs. This is the little wreath that I changed it out for. This is from Target and this is a lot more simple and it looks a lot better there. I was initially going to put two wreaths on either of those, on both of the hutch doors, but then it looked too cluttery and I realized I was putting wreaths everywhere so I stopped myself. Um, but now I'm just going to sweep up these floors and we will get to baking. For today's fall treat, we are making pumpkin donuts with a powdered sugar coating, and these are so delicious. All you need is a yellow cake mix, pumpkin puree, vanilla flavor, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and two tablespoons of butter. This will all be linked down below in my description box. Are you excited? And we're just going to pop that all of that in this pan for five minutes, and they'll be good to go. We're going to sprinkle them with some powdered sugar, so let's get started. Just 
Like I said, I will link this recipe down in the description box below. These are so delicious. They're more of a cakey donut than a regular donut that you get at a donut shop, but they're super delicious. I just went ahead and put it in a plastic bag and cut a hole in it so that I could easily distribute it from the bowl to the pan. And you just bake these for five minutes. They are so easy and you just sprinkle some powdered sugar on the top. Oliver loved these. Wait until the end to see his reaction. And you can also dip them in butter and then dip them in like a sugar cinnamon mixture. And that's absolutely delicious. But after you do that, they don't keep for very long. So I went ahead and just powdered or did powdered sugar on all of them. I picked up this really pretty gold tray at Home Goods a couple weeks back. I showed y'all in my day in the life, and I love it. We only made a few donuts this day because it was just Will and I and Oliver eating them, and so I didn't want to make a ton, but this would be so cute if you just stacked a ton of donuts on it. And this is the finished product. We absolutely love these. <gasps> Yum. Oh, my God. 